Today, on this 2010 Mazda CX-7, we're going to install part number 118405 from TowReady. First thing we need to do is open up the back hatch and remove the interior panels. We'll remove the floor coverings. We'll remove the threshold. and we'll remove the access panels on each side of the vehicle behind the taillights. With all the panels loosened up, we can go ahead and start installing our wire harness. We'll start on the driver's side and work our way over to the passenger side. Now there'll be two connections we need to make on the driver's side. There'll be a yellow wire for a turn signal, and there'll be a red wire for the brake signal, and also the running lights. So basically all we can do is take apart the connections that go into the tail light and match them up with our wire harness, and plug them in between. Then we'll go ahead and run our green wire over to the passenger side and repeat the same process. We'll also go ahead and find a suitable location to ground our white wire. Then we'll go ahead and find a location to mount our module and we'll clean off the area of sheet metal and attach it. Now I'm going to move on to the red wire that's ran out of the module. We'll attach our longer black wire that comes with the kit and we'll run that outside through the body to this grommet that's located on the driver's side just ahead of a spare tire. Then we'll make a cut into the grommet, route black wire through there. With the black wire ran through the grommet, we'll go ahead and reinstall the interior components. Then we'll go ahead and continue running our black wire up to the battery. Now when we run the wire up to the battery, we'll make sure we stay away from anything that's hot, like the exhaust, or anything moving like the suspension components, or up front, the steering components. Once we have our wire ran up to the front, we'll route it over through the engine bay up to the battery. We'll cut our black wire to length, and then we'll add our fuse holder. We'll cut the fuse holder in half. We'll attach our black wire to a fuse holder with the buck connector, and the other side we'll get the ring terminal. And then install the ring terminal onto the positive side of the battery. Then we can go ahead and install the fuse. With all the connections made under the hood, we can go ahead and show how to use a four pole wiring harness. When we need to use it, we'll just pull it out and then shut the hatch on it. Just make sure we stay away from the latch in the center. Then we'll go ahead and pull out what we need to pull down to our trailer. And with that, that'll finish it for our install part number 118405 from Tow Ready. Our 2010 Mazda CX-7.